In the beginning, there was only him out of nothing. With his great and terrible power, he created the whole existence. And when the name arrives, he'll return. And he shall sing the song that will destroy it all. The divine beast, Armageddon. What's up, my guy? Hello, Zach. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here with you. I'm glad you're here too, man. So let's get started. Where did this all begin for you? Well, uh, this is the very beginning. This is uh, the beginning of the journey and the first step. So uh, there is much more in the way. There is much more Armageddon to come. So uh, this is my first interview. I'm very happy and very thankful with you and your audience. Thank you. So where did your journey into music begin? Okay, so uh, Welcome to the Show, the title of the first single. Uh, welcome to the Show is the, is the symbol of the first step in the path, is the, is the symbol of the beginning of a, of a journey into the Armageddon way, into the Armageddon ritual. So, uh, the rival is here. Let's get started. Nice. I love that. I love the mystery behind it. Like, that's one thing with me. I'm huge on that. Like, that kind of outlook on a, making a music project, having the mystery, the lore behind it, it gets me personally really excited to just dive right in. Thank you. That's, I wanted to create something different something uh, people really get into, not just music. It's like its own little universe kind of thing you're putting together here. Yeah. Yeah. I think a uh, universe is the a, is a right word to describe it. I wanted to create a whole new universe, a whole new culture. So uh, I really wanted people to get into it. Well, you got me on board. I'm saying that right now. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it. Of course. My next question is, how do you like do everything yourself? Because I find that very impressive. Well, <laughs> it's been a long ride, you know. It's been a long ride, but this is just the beginning. This is the first step. Of course, uh, there's a lot of people around who who supporting me who's supporting the project uh, and I'm very thankful with, uh, with those people. All right. Tell me a bit about the artwork because I love like the character, the mask, the, I think it's a trident or a spear. Like I just love all the detail that went into that. Yeah. Art Magellan is the creator and destroyer of all. He does not wear a mask. That's the way he looks. Hmm. Um, an image so incredible that is capable of driving any any being to craziness. All right, I see where this is going, and I dig it. I really dig it. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I wanted to create something different. Something beyond a singer, something beyond a, a music project. Like its own entity, kind of, right? That's right. Oh, I'm going to enjoy watching this project flourish. I'm going to enjoy watching the growth of this. And I'm going to be there till the fucking end of days, man. There is much more in the way. And you're more than welcome. I'm excited. <laughs> I always lo I love seeing this like this take on the whole thing because it's rare to see people do this. Actually, you're probably the first person I worked with who's doing it like this, and I love it. I want it to be different. Of course, I love music. I want to create music, but uh, I've always thought that it's uh, much more beyond music. Uh, you have to give people something to get in. I wanted to create something real different what I what I have seen before. I wanted to create the artist, the band I've never seen on stage. 
And that's what you're aiming for with this. Yeah, I wanted something real different. Uh, I'm aiming to get people into my world, into my universe, into my own ritual. Well, I like that a lot. Consider me a follower. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy. And as I told you, you're more than welcome, my man. Thank you very much. Now, let's get into the actual single here. Welcome to the show. What inspired that, like, lyrically? Well, I took inspiration from everywhere. Uh, Welcome to the show is like my first uh, war cry, you know, like the intro of a ritual, like the announcement of something very huge coming. So I wanted to say all of that in one song. You did a damn good job of it. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's pretty much what I felt about. Uh, welcome to the show is my way to scree- scream out to the world, who am I? I am here. I want to get listened. And you did a real good job of that. Like I said before, like I've honestly listened to this thing, this song probably 10 times in one day, and I'm not making that up either. Because whenever I listen to music, I try to study the lyrics and understand what it's saying. So I listen to stuff on repeat a lot. And I've had this track on repeat for quite some time. So in my opinion, you did an amazing job with what you wanted to do. Thank you. Uh, as I told you, welcome to the show. It's my way to uh, scream to the world. I am here. I want to be here. Uh, or my gallery has arrived. And it's like, let's do this. <laughs> let's, let's go. Do this. Yeah, let, let's do this. Let, uh, let's uh, get metal alive again. That's why I love it. Because like we said before re- the recording, I'm a huge like 80s and 70s metal fan. So seeing someone produce that again, it, it, it warms my heart. It really does. It makes me so happy. Thank you. I think uh, we're all uh, bored about uh, lip singing. Uh, we're bored about uh, fake instruments. So uh, I think it's time of some good fucking real music. Exactly. Like we need to bring back the roots of metal. And what better yeah. way than for someone like you to come in and like, here, I got this. Let's go. Welcome to Armageddon. I'm like, fuck yeah. That's the way to go. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to be here. Uh, I want to. I want to everybody. Everybody know our Magellan is here. Welcome to the show. All right. Let's see. My next question is: How would you describe the music you create? Well, of course, there's a lot of inspiration. And a lot of artists I love. As I told you before we we started the show, I love Martha Crew. I love Alice Cooper. I love Dokken. So there's a lot of inspiration in their sound, but I wanted to create my own sound. I want to I want to stand up and say I want to create something different what I respect and I admire this uh, rock and roll legends yeah so that's uh, that's pretty much what uh, welcome to the show and uh, my whole music catalog is uh, I took inspiration from everywhere and, and I want to, to to give that my own sound hard melodic real rock and roll that is a beautiful answer because like i said before i grew up well i didn't say this before but i grew up around that kind of music even though i'm in my early 20s i grew up around 80s and 70s rock and roll and metal like ozzy i was born judas priest motley yeah. crew alice cooper van halen queen Drake. like i grew up with all that yeah, so, and I'm so glad that people like you are trying to bring that back because it's like I've always wanted to experience it, like when it was newly released stuff. Because I wasn't born back then, obviously. 
So being able to see that stuff still come out today, it's like I can finally live in that moment. At least that's what it's like for me. I wanted to bring it back. You know, uh, as I told you, we're all tired of uh, lip singing of uh, fake pop artists. So uh, I wanted to create something I wanted to listen to as a fan, you know, uh, for you new metal, metal bands for bringing back this style. Uh, and I wanted to create my own. Yeah. And it's a great thing that you did because honestly, it's really rare to see this kind of stuff come out. It's Thank like, you. um, how do I put it? It's like finding a treasure chest at the bottom of the ocean. It's so rare that you, that you almost give up on it. Then there's that one sliver of hope left, and then you find it. Thank you, man. I hope so. Yeah, and that treasure chest has just been unlocked for the whole world to hear. And I hope your music reaches as many people as possible, because I really do see you going places with this. Thank you. I, I really wanted people to get into it. Uh, I really want to build this uh, whole community of children of Armageddon. Yeah. And that's like the other page you made, right? The, like the other one you made, the second page? I think I noticed that earlier. Uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, it wasn't me. I'm very, I'm very happy. I was so excited when I, when I saw this uh, second page, because uh, it was not me. Oh wow, that's <laughs> great! You got, you, you already yeah. got like, you got, you already got like your number one fan out there, just ready to put the work in. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the a lot of people ask me uh, if I created that second page. And I said, uh, no, no, it, it wasn't me. But I was very happy and very excited. And uh, whoever, whoever who created the second page, thank you very much. We, we're going to make sure he watches this so he can hear that. We're going to make yeah. sure. We're going to yeah, make sure that happens. I, I don't know. I don't know the guy who created that second page. But uh, thank you very much. Uh, I... I'm really, I really hope to be up to the expectations. Well, if you already got a fan like that, I'm sure you will be, because it's that's already a good sign. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, dude, I, I'm gonna do, I will do my best to help you every step of the way too. Thank he you. And I are gonna be like your fan base right here. This is where it starts. Thank you very much, Zach. I really appreciate it, my man. Of course, my dude. Uh, yeah, they, they asked me uh, about the second page, and and I said, uh, second page, I, I, I never created the second page. And uh, when I saw the children of Armageddon, and I was very excited. I was very happy, and I thought, uh, man, I'm something. Uh, I'm doing something good. Definitely, when I saw that, I'm like, did he make this? I'm glad. I'm glad you clarified that. No, I, I want to know who this is now. I want to know who made it. Like, I, I want him me. to be like, I want him to reach out to us. I, I really want to, to, to meet him or her. Same. Whoever this person is, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I really want to, to meet you soon. Whoever Likewise. you are. Hey, if we ever find him, we'll have him join us for an episode when you release an album. That'd be really fun. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. All right. My next question is, who would you love to collaborate with? Well, I, I'm really open to collaborate who, who anyone shares my vision about music. Uh, I'd be very happy to collaborate with any artist we, I think we can do something really interesting. Yeah. I'm, uh, I, I'd be very happy to collaborate who, with uh, anybody who loves metal as much as I do. <laughs> Definitely, man. Dude, but that'd be of great. Of course, it would be my dream to collaborate with 
Alice Cooper kiss. Ghost. Yes. Of course, man. I was actually going to bring up Kiss because I was getting some Kiss vibes from the artwork. Yeah, I I, I think so. Uh, you know, there's always uh, inspiration in uh, sci-fi, fantasy, uh, horror movies. And um, I really, really love the art of uh, Ken Kelly, uh, Frank Frazetta. Uh, and uh, and I wanted something in that style. Yeah. Well, what you came up with was genius. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now too. Like, did you draw it yourself? Like, how did that um happen? It wasn't me. No, it, it wasn't me. I didn't. I didn't do the artwork. But um, my my graphic designer did. And I really love the result. Dude, it, it's fucking amazing, in my opinion. I, I love it. I, I love it. Really, I love. The, really. I love uh, sorry, uh, cut, sorry, cut you off. I love the art style. Thank you. I really wanted some something with a uh, '80s fantasy horror movie vibes. Yeah, and he did a great job with it, or he or she. Uh, I don't know. But they did a great job with it. Thank you. I really, really wanted to show our McAllen. Um, uh, I wanted to to present uh, the whole image and uh, show the world what what I got. Well, so far I am very excited to see what else is to come because you got you got you got a number one fan right here. Thank you. Thank you for much, Sam. That, that first song blew me away, dude. Like, I'm going to be honest as hell with this. That first song blew me away. I was speechless. Thank you very much. There's much more in the way. I'm working on the second single. Nice. Like, in my head, I just kept thinking to myself, holy shit, this guy's bringing back the 80s metal scene. Let's fucking go. Let's do this. Like, like I was pumped, and I still am. I'm happy working Thank with you, you right now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I was very excited to be with you, dude. Likewise, man, this is great. Like, um, I know you can't see them right now, but I have like two giant mega speakers back there. I blasted, um, welcome to the show, and <laughs> the noise complaint was definitely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. No, seriously, I gotta knock on the door from the cops. Like, you playing a shit too loud, me. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll turn it down and close the door. I don't fucking care, man. Ooh, it, it, was it. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. Dude, it was worth it. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, and I want to play Welcome to the Show as loud as I can. Dude, my speaker's almost blue because I did that. <laughs> Let's but blow I, him up, man. But I regret nothing because that was some of the best shit I ever heard. Let's blow him up, my man. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, except those speakers are hard to find because those are old 90s ones. So if I want to have to replace those, oh, cool. I'm going to have to search all over eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's blow him up, my man. Hell yeah. All right. My next question is, well, I know we went over this, but what is next for Armageddon? Yeah. Uh, so the second single is coming very soon. Um, I don't want to spoil nothing, but uh, its title is Lie to Me. Ooh, I like it already. Yeah, Lie to Me is the title of the second single. Um, it is expected to come out in January. All right. So, um, I'm very excited. The song is uh, very different. Uh, to welcome to the show. It's uh, it's the same Armageddon style. And, uh, well, I hope you like it as much as I do. Oh, I know I will. I, I, I'm real excited. Uh, to be honest, Lie to Me is uh, one of my favorite songs. Uh, and I really wanted, wanted to come out. 
Well, I can't wait for it to come out. My final question of the evening, because we went through everything else, and this is my personal favorite question. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. Uh, what do you like the most about our Michaelian? That's really hard for me to answer because I love everything. The art, the music, the character, the story that like you just told me. I've just completely fallen in love with the whole system that you put together here. Thank you. It's something exactly. that I'm excited for. I'm uh, very excited here because uh, for me, it's very important. Uh, people like you that are really into heavy metal, hard rock. Uh, how did you get into this? Oh, like how did I get into what I do now with the interviews or how did I get into metal itself? Well, metal itself and, and the first listen media. All right. Well, metal to me, I, I've grew, I grew up around metal. My dad always used to have like that's the, the cassette tapes lying around for like Ozzy Osbourne, Motley Crue, Queens Reich. I was that kid who walked around school with the portable cassette player when everyone else had like iPods and shit. So, so that's how I got into it. But what got me into first listen media was music metal saved my life and I wanted to give back to music. So I started this up. Originally it was under a different name because I ran this with some friends. We all had different pages that we linked together. So we did Nerd's Order because it was a it was like nerd nerd um culture. That was what we were aiming for originally. And then they stopped doing the work for their pages. So I just took this page, rebranded it, renamed it, and then just started rolling with it. That's that's awesome, and uh, I I think that's a that's one of the most important things metal metal scene needs. Yeah, people to support them. My biggest goal is to help as many artists as I can. I was mainly metal only for quite a while, and then I decided to welcome other genres in just so I could be more open to everybody's tastes. But metal is my primary go-to. I'm mainly, even though I listen to everything, I'm a primarily a metalhead. Yeah. Me too. And I'm very happy to be here. And I'm, uh, I'm thankful for this space. Yeah, I, I, it, it warms my heart to hear that. It shows that I'm doing it for the right reasons. And it shows that people actually appreciate what I do. I really yeah. do, man. I, I do appreciate what you were doing. Uh, it's very important to heavy metal and hard rock to be promoted by a podcast and a true metal heads. My goal, like I said, my goal is to help as many as I can. And I want to keep this page up for as long as I'm alive. That's my goal is to do this until I'm dead. Hell yeah, man. This project ain't dying until I do. That's a promise. Hell yeah. Metal forever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, dude. And if you ever do live shows and you come to Connecticut, you better let me know so I can go rush over there and see you guys. Of course. Um, I, I hope to uh, be uh, hitting, hitting the stage next year. And of course, uh, Connecticut. It's going mm. to it's gonna, it's gonna be part of the tour. Oh, you're serious? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I better buy a poster then so I can get it signed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what I do. I try to get, I try to go out and see the artists I work with when I can. And if I can't, I try to just get a poster online from them. Cause I have seen one of the artists I worked with recently, yeah. but it's like, I just want to not only work with them, but meet them and just, you know, be a supporter. That's like my big thing with this is to support as many yeah. as I can. Thank you very much. And, you're part of this. I cannot wait to see where it goes from here. I'm like super excited. I'm super excited to meet you, man. Dude, same. This has been so fun. Thank you very much. And whoever made that page, the followers one, I will bring you on here eventually too. When we do another one of these. Because we, we both want to meet this guy now. I want to meet this guy. Thank you for the page. Thank you for your support. Yeah, thank for you. Real. Thank you, child of Armakalian. 
Dude, for real, man. When we find who you are, and he and I do another interview, you're coming on. So you can meet yeah. this this yeah. legend. That's for destroyer. sure. Thank you. Thank you, whoever created Children of Armageddon. Go follow him. Oh, I already did. I followed him as soon as I saw the page. <laughs> yeah. He actually follows both of us, so I'm pretty sure he will see this. I hope so. I hope so. I, I really want to meet you. I will post this as soon as possible so he can, too. Yeah. Uh, I really want to meet you. We both want to meet you. Let's do it. Hell yeah. All right. And I think that was the last of my questions, too, if I'm being totally honest. Thank you very much for having me, Zach. Dude, thank you for being here. We have the legend in the making, Armageddon. Thank you for having me. Uh, it was my pleasure to be here. Thank you for the spot. Thank you for your support. Of course, thank you man. For me. Thank you for being part of all of this. And thank you for being part of my channel, too. And you're always welcome here. Like, I want to see you back on my show again. That's a promise. I want to be back. Th this is a promise. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yes. I'll be back. Our Magellan will be back on first list of media. Let's go. Everyone watching, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Stay safe and join the children of Armageddon. Thank you, children of Armageddon.